Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and this is the SH Figure Arts Naruto Kurama Link Mode. This guy was a P-Bandai exclusive, and I know a few other stores like Big Bad Toy Store and Nin Nin Game managed to get this guy, and I think they may have also sold out. And this is one I was highly anticipating, so now that I finally have it in my hands, I have a few gripes with it. I mostly really like it. I think it's still worth grabbing, but there are some things that irritate me a little bit with this guy. But first up, can I just say how much I love the face on this guy. I love how well it's painted, how it's captured. It just, it looks good. I love it a lot. And I also have a cat here with me. So if you hear the occasional meow, I'm sorry. Say hello to Chloe. When they first shown off an unpainted prototype for this guy, they were talking about how flexible he was, like with his robe as well as his little headband. And yes, he is that flexible. You can bend his leg back and then it'll keep that pose. However, if you keep it there, it might warp the, the little cloak permanently. So I probably wouldn't do that. But in the past, that was a huge problem where like they would have a cloak and then like it would really hinder the articulation, which thankfully that's not a problem here. And he has just about as much articulation as the Naruto 3.0 when it comes to the ab crunch and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about it being much of an issue when it comes to being dynamic. When it comes to the, the shoulder, like moving across the, the chest, I think they do a decent job of that as well. There are a few uh, spiky points over here, so it can hurt you sometimes, but overall, very solid figure. I love it a lot. It has a very like shiny, glossy finish to it on most of the figure, so it's gonna have a different feel to it compared to the 3.0 Naruto. But this is one of my favorite forms of Naruto, and I'm so happy it's been made to a figure. I, I, I love this a lot. The only gripe I really have with this figure is the shading on this guy. When you look at him, he looks fine, look at the shading wise, I, I think they did a half decent job. But when you compare it to the prototype of the figure they've shown off, especially on the box, it does look quite different. And I know comparing the final figure to the prototype is typically a taboo because obviously things are subject to change. But right here I have the box and if you compare in particular like the shading on like the hair, you don't really see that here as you can tell. Or on this side it's a little bit hard to tell but like the shading on the headband it looks like a little bit more orange compared to what we have on the final figure. And then like some stuff like around the pants or so, like it's like it looks pretty yellow over here in comparison to the orange. And that's pretty much how I want to sum it up. This thing is a lot more yellow looking compared to the more orange that you see on the prototype. But if I didn't like see the prototype and I just looked at the figure straight on, I would have been mostly pretty impressed. But with because of this thing being $100 and I don't know, just looking at it, I, it came across more yellow to me than I originally expected. I couldn't help but to be a little disappointed, but only a little though. I, I still really like this figure a lot. Overall, I'm still very happy with it. I'd still give it like an eight or nine out of 10 so far. And I'm very happy with stuff like when you bend the knees, that stripe is still there, and the articulation in his elbows are also really good too. They've gotten so much better at making dynamic poses when it comes to bulky designs like this. And this figure is also loaded with a lot of accessories. Typically when I think of a Naruto figure, I see them being ninjas, so I want them to be equipped with ninja accessories like kunai or stuff like that. With this figure, you don't have that, but that is not a problem because this figure is mainly just trying to show off the raw power of the character. So having accessories like that isn't very necessary, and that's okay. But they did supplement it with other accessories like additional faces and a really good array of different hands as well as a two different uh, Rasengan pieces. I noticed when it came to the faces, now keep in mind when I got this, it was also like really cold and uh, the, the, the cold weather really stiffens the plastic sometimes. But I noticed that like the faces weren't as flexible compared to Naruto 3.0. So I was like, wow, this is a really stiff piece, isn't it? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm just more concerned about the durability, I guess. I don't know, I, but like, does flexing the face really matter all that much? Maybe I'm just being picky. I don't know. But anyway, taking off the head, um, I always like taking the whole head off before I move anything because of like the design of the cloak and everything. Normally with any other Naruto character or at least Naruto figure by himself like that, I will just take off the face and just swap it. 
but because of the cloak being there, it does get in the way a little bit, so I don't mind taking out the uh, the whole head and swapping that in. Which, by the way, these faces do not go on the other Naruto. You could probably put the other Naruto faces on here, which that would look really bad, <laughs> but they added an extra peg in there to assure that no, it's not gonna uh, fit on other Naruto figures. Then you can just snap that back in place, and there you go. Which I wanna say, the back of his head doesn't look as good as compared to a regular Naruto. And as you can tell with like, a regular Naruto, you can see there's a bunch of hair under the headband, so it blends in uh, with the extra hair piece on the back of his neck. The hair piece back here is just resting, it's not like pegged in like with this guy. So you can see that gap every once in a while, and it just doesn't look all that good. But you're not going to be seeing the, the figure from the back all that much anyway, so... If you do, then adjust it as such if you need to. But when it comes to being dynamic and stuff like that, like, it it looks fine. <laughs> like, you can make it look fine. It's not as bad as the Sakura with those ugly shoulders. But I think my favorite thing about this figure is if you, can, you swap out the heads which you can, I guess you could do that too, but also be careful. I accidentally like made a small indent on one of Naruto's uh, noses, uh, trying to get it out like this. So again, be careful. But I think my favorite face uh, is probably gonna be the Sage Mode face. You can see a, a lot more serious, like stern in his face. Uh, also just the extra red, like contouring with the yellow and orange. It just looks very clean that way. So there's a small chance I might use this face as like my posing on the shelf uh, thing, but nah, we'll see, we'll see. But let's put everything back in its box because I want to like go over more of the accessories as a whole. But before we do that, like let's do a actual comparison next to Naruto. Uh, I, there was always something about the face for 3.0 Naruto that like kind of seemed off to me, but I don't know what it is about like the Korma Link face painting versus this guy. I'm not sure if it's just the iris is being smaller, which I don't think that's true either. I don't know what it is. It's just the faces on the Korma Link just look fantastic in comparison to 3.0. And let's compare him next to Sasuke as well, because you're probably going to pair him with him, especially with the Renegon. Overall, still looks good. So let's get into the accessories. So not only do you have four extra faces, you also have not just five but seven extra pairs of hands as well as the planetary rasengan as well as the rasen shuriken of course with the newer age of naruto figures of course you're going to have this cartoonic face right here i'm probably not going to use it all that much but it's a nice touch of course you got to have the jutsu hands uh we got these very open hands but I, I really love these hands in particular if i can get them out like there's something about these hands in particular that I love so much because like if you pair it with stuff like him doing the Rasengan or just him being dynamic in general it looks more natural and I wish the normal Naruto 3.0 came with hands like this like it keeps it dynamic but also having a little bit more realism I guess to it so I love this a lot I I love the regular flat hands as well like when it comes to certain stuff like having him do the tail beast bomb and telling Kurama to do that it comes across perfect like that so having those as well as these thank you there's also these hands which i'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to go for because like on paper it looks like they're trying to be more relaxed but the thumbs positioning doesn't come across like that and even then it's supposed to be like a very powered up naruto i don't think there's any relaxing when you're in this mode maybe i'm just overthinking i don't know but again this is a hundred dollar figure so like i gotta be a little critical but you also get the pointer fingers which i don't think is too necessary but at this point i'm not complaining this is more like it's like the more the merrier i'm just saying i'm probably not going to use it that much myself but if you want to there you go those are options for you and then we got these hands these hands look great these ones uh i can't remember the exact name of this but it's supposed to be like a super powerful rasen god essentially it's like it starts with that and then go boom i guess i don't know like I don't remember because I haven't watched the show in forever. I'm sorry. But the biggest thing I want to bring up is these hands coming with the pegs. So with Naruto 3.0, the peg ended up being on the Rasengan itself instead of vice versa. Because for the longest time, it was the peg on the hand and then the Rasengan being itself. So this reverts back to that. And according to one of my viewers, he got the figure before I did. 
Uh, these pegs are very fragile. I've only had this figure for a day. Well, or I guess two days, I don't know. Uh, so I never had that issue myself. So I pray that doesn't happen to me. But I don't like putting these hands on the figure itself. Because typically when it comes to an open hand like that, I like being able to like grip it from the palm and get a nice grip on it and then put it in. But I don't have that option with any of the stuff with stuff coming out of the palms. Uh, this is a very similar complaint that I had with the Obito figure. So be careful. So when it comes to posing, I am going to be using this hand a lot. So I got to be extra careful with it. And even then it doesn't snap in there very easy. And me just trying to get it in there is like warping the, the pointer finger in. There we go. When I see a really lack of a better term pain in the ass stuff like that when it comes to that or even the square enix figures i want to see the people who make these figures actually pose these and actually mess with these and see if they struggle as much as the average consumer so anyway you get your planetary or gun, but before i do that let's put them in a fun pose let's switch out a couple of hands and faces we're gonna give him his angry eyes you gotta make him look a little aggressive trying to do this let's swap out the fist with that one relaxed hand that I told you that I really liked. like the one that's like a middle ground between like the super open palm and the relaxed Urgh, get in there get a nice snap I didn't feel a snap but it feels like it's in there of course you gotta bend his legs a little bit you gotta make him look dynamic get his arm up there a little bit part of me wish he had a shouting face like not in his like cartoonic screaming face right here but like one where he's like yelling Rasengan or screaming as he's delivering the Rasengan. So if you put that in here, uh, it's a simple peg. It's not nothing too tight, nothing too crazy. It's going to be suspended from what it looks like. Don't pre don't push it in too hard or else you will end up snapping the thing. But as you can tell, like right here, like he looks so good. Like I love the way this looks so much. If I were going to have him fighting Obito, I'd probably do this like this looks really good but when I want to do the planetary Rasengan first let's get that face out I think I want to pair him with the sage mode eyes which again I don't think they needed to put that in there but I'm so happy they did because I think that one just looks the best before we put the Rasengan on we gotta position him the way we need to we gotta make him do like a bit of a power stance be like yeah I'm doing this I'm that powerful. I like having him hold it from the side like that because it's gonna be at an angle no matter how you pose it. Again, keeping that hand there like it gives the somewhat relaxed but like aggressive hand like he's got a lot of power. This is not the first Resen Shuriken that we've gotten through the uh, Tamashii Nations but like this looks really good. And I know there was like some fan project that like made like custom faces for like Sage Mode and stuff like this. But okay, there's a little bit of pressure there to put that in. But there you go. There's your Resen Shuriken. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look good. I would love to pose it like this. But I feel like I would need to have a base just to like assure he's not going to fall over. Because again, this thing can snap relatively easy. Especially with it being something as wide as this. And as soon as it falls, it's going to add a lot of pressure and end up snapping that peg. So if you're going to do a pose like this, either assure him with like sticky tack or by his feet or do a stand because you don't want this guy to fall over and snap on you. So at the end of the day, yeah, I do recommend this figure uh, because of him selling out everywhere. Like I hope he doesn't become too expensive on eBay. But if you can find him for less than 150 bucks, he's worth it. I think he's really good. And it has me very hopeful for other modes of Naruto, whether it be Sage Mode or getting a Sage Mode uh, Sasuke, I guess, or, or Sage of Six Paths or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think it's a Sage of Six Paths is what I'm thinking of. That's it. I do want a Sage Mode Naruto as well eventually, but like, I'm excited to see where all this goes. But at the end of the day, thank you for watching. And if you knew and you like what you saw, you know what to do. There will be links in the description for places that technically should have it up for sale uh if they do have it in stock definitely grab it before it's too late but thank you for watching i love you guys to death and i'll see you on the next one so peace peace